A key benefit with SketchUp is the ability to work through design alternatives. I typically find I'm developing about 10 versions of a piece of furniture before ready to go to the shop. Along the way, I'm saving these iterations in separate SketchUp files, numbering them sequentially as I go. Often I return to previous versions as a newer approach does not work out as well as planned. So keeping these past efforts can turn out to be great time savers. In this video, I'm showing some of the major steps during my design process for a coffin. My design process usually begins by seeing a picture of an attractive piece of furniture. This could be in a book, on the TV, or a movie, magazine, museum, or a friend's home. Often the next step is opening Google Images to find pictures of the desired piece of furniture. This procedure was true in the case of this coffin and I spent quite a bit of time in Google Images looking at pictures, particularly those used by jo Pope John Paul. The first step usually involves these pictures. Often I can import the picture and sketch out some shapes as happened in this case with the coffin. This is usually quite crude without any detail. Then in the next phase I'm working on the sizing and shaping of the piece and I found some books on coffin making or one particular very early book that showed some typical dimensions I brought that into SketchUp and compared with my, my sides and end pieces that I was working up at the same time. So this gave me an idea of uh, some of the sizing as well as measuring, measurements in other ways. Then in the third step here, I'm adding joinery, particularly the dovetail joinery. And I showed earlier an earlier video on how to create these dovetails in the coffin. Then I began to go into more detailed design, particularly for the bottom of the coffin and handles. And I used an overly complex design for the base, the bottom, and the handles, and decided that I would review this design and try to look for some more simpler alternatives. You can see there's quite a bit of work involved in doing the lapping of the bottom pieces, putting in cleats and grooves, and cutting those mortise and tenon joints. So I looked at options and here was an option using a dovetail handle key, I called it, that would set into dovetails in the, the bottom of the side pieces and also serve as rests for the actual bottom that would just lay into the into the carcass. But I continued to look at options and came up with a, another handle that seemed quite simpler than working those dovetails. Building these stretcher pieces that would serve as handles and also as support for the the bottom that would lay into the into the coffin and this was the final my final selection it seemed quite uh, straightforward to make these pieces and install them into the coffin so the next step was to sort out the top 
And my first version included these pins or pegs that would hold the top down to the carcass. And of course this this involved quite a bit of turning on the lathe, so I began looking for some other alternatives. Also, I didn't like the looks of these pegs. And the option that I selected was a top with an outer frame. And the frame is equipped with a lip. It's a molded lip then that sits down over the top of the carcass and I've got this cross grain situation here so it's more like a breadboard ends and I'll pull out one of these the head breadboard but let me instead of copying bring it out on the red axis here you can see the tongue that is uh, in in the edge of the surrounding the perimeter of the top and that fits into the molded piece and then uh, screw the breadboard allows some movement cross grain for the top piece and this was then the final version and to get ready for construction in the shop, I, my last step was creating the clamping calls that I needed to help in the process of gluing up the dovetail joints and also some extra little finger pieces here that uh, help in drawing in the dovetails during the gluing process, both at the foot end and at the head end of the coffin. So these are typical steps in how I go through designing uh, furniture in SketchUp. And I finished the piece now and it is in Monterey Pine with ash handles.